Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Um oh dear now I forgot to do the timer. Right uh when it's ten to eleven I should be. Okay. So today we're not working on the outside of this, we're gonna work on a bit on the inside. And I've already made this pocket thing that I really, really like because of the fabric that it's made out of. The inside of my Hussive is going to be this piece of fabric here and then I'm going to use bits like this in it okay and a bit of lace so today I'm making a box <laughs> to put in it okay um, I have seen uh, Christine I think her name is she did she covered um, match boxes to, to put in it I'm just gonna I'm making I'm making my own because I I know how but it, <laughs> it's probably been a really long time since I had to go at this but anyway here we go start with I've got I use I'm using my Panadol Osteo packet because it's got a little bit of a little bit of movement in it and that's a good idea for just for the, what we're doing you'll notice that in a minute I've also got this piece of pleated I really really want to put in there too so we're going to work on that so now I've cut off cut up the pieces that I'm going to need and I use this little ruler here and it's a bit geeky but anyway I don't know where I got it from and I've got this at three inches now I know that's not very wide but you don't really need anything too big um when I'm looking at this and I think well I could have made it the whole go right across it but I'm not I don't want to necessarily do that because I don't know whether I'm going to be putting it into well when this is we'll see this doesn't even come right to there I've got made it a bit bigger so when you got your side bits on there I didn't really want the box to be too long so this is the lid I've made the lid okay now what I did was I just used the size of the box because other than that bit there that was all flat so I've got this piece I cut out of here which is really crooked as you can see so I'm gonna to have to fix that I don't know how I went about that but anyway I was trying to do it this morning in an awkward place out there with no room anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna put this up here so it's so this is the base of it of my box okay this is the, the, the top bit the lid now the lid's got either side of the um, card a piece of this because I'm planning on using this just for a few needles just to put a couple of needles in the top of it okay now it's not very deep this is the depth of it because I thought well you can't have it too deep because you don't want it getting if it's too big it's going to get squashed I think that's just my thought on it and this is the side bit one of the side pieces and in this still you'll be able to put a needle threader I had these ideas in my head this morning um, your chalk you know for drawing for writing on it your chalk and even your thimble might fit and I've got a heap of those somewhere <sighs> maybe not that way he will look see he's gonna fit in there there's your thimble needle threader this is if you want to put them in this part um, maybe even get an eraser in there this is a bit big though and you can get your little pencil in because I've got one here somewhere but I, I cannot see it at the moment it's um, for marking anyway you can buy small um, little pencils if you want to put it in there but it'll just depend maybe I'll put another part in there for it but this is just to put in what you feel like you want to use so now that I've got that and I'm going to cut it out straight it might make it a tiny bit smaller than the bottom but I don't think it's going to be a, a problem because we have got to sew it together and everything so what I did was then I got I'll put these up here even fit a reel of cotton in there too, so I can see that it'll fit in there too, won't it? And so, so, look, yep. So anyway, I don't need anything um, on the bottom, like to cover the, 
I've covered the writing. If you've got if you've got a plain piece of paper uh, card stock, that's good because then you don't have to worry about covering that. Okay. Um, I've got me two end bits here, which are a little bit big to start with, but I'm going to cut them back to make them fit. See, so there you go. And I have another side piece somewhere. Maybe this is it, and I haven't cut it yet. I think. Although I thought I cut them all out. <laughs> Mr. Steptoe does that to me. But you see, the thing is, we didn't get up till late today. <laughs> we didn't get up till a quarter past eight. I know. Isn't that terrible. Anyway. <laughs> so what I did with these, I'm going to show you now what I'm going to do. Because I'm going to cover this the way that I did all the others anyway. Uh, so I'll do that. But... I'll get the right thing here in a minute. I'm trying to pick up. So we need it this long, okay? So it's got to be as long as that. I shouldn't be. I might just push it up a little bit further. A little bit of hand sewn, but you could do it by machine if you wanted to. So therefore, that comes to there and there. So I need this to be the same length. And it's not hard to do this. A little bit tedious but it's okay it's not hard it's not a hard thing to do at all I must have cut out a piece of that because I can see that there's still that on there it's probably sitting here somewhere looking at me and I can't see it but, you know because I've got things lying around everywhere uh -uh. I might have left it out there in another room well that's a shame but I'm gonna cut another bit I just want to make sure that it's the same width as this bit and it should be because I can feel underneath there I can cut off this end piece here that's a little bit thick as well and cut that there right now should we right there we go and get a piece of fabric now I've picked something that's gonna go you know good with everything nope I need something that's gonna go all the way around it and it could have been on, but I haven't got time for that now. Your measurements can be your measurements, but I will measure mine for me in a minute and tell you what it is anyway. I think it's about three inches by half inch, maybe something like that. Now I've got this much here that I want to use for a seam, okay? Now, pin. So what you do is put your pin in there all right like that it's not really straight is it get a piece of thread now I want something that's really 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 the color of this if I can do it because I don't want but actually this is going to have embroidery around the edge of it so you're not going to see that could have some on top but it's already stitched little and you don't you know you can please yourself whether you um, want to a tiny needle whether you want to um, cover it over or leave it like it is but I'm doing this this way for a reason and I'll show you when I get there why so I'm going to stitch this with that in there to start with so I need we have got a lot of excess on these ends but I need a bit I need about that much you know there needs to be that much on either end alright so I'm going to start I can feel that where that is and I'm starting here okay I'm going to do a stitch over the end hang on to it right now I'm going to sew up alongside this piece of card and because it's in there your needle's going to get down at the side of it not really close but at the side of it okay I'm doing a couple of little back stitches I don't have to do that but I don't know I'm gonna keep going up along here when I was doing things for the show um, you know when I entered put entries in when you made these there was a section for a covered box and the covered box had to have embroidery on it, of course. And I did a fair few of those. I think I put them in every year, for years. 
I don't know if I actually made one exactly the same as this. I probably didn't. But you sort of learn a few <laughs> bits and pieces. Probably could forget a lot of what I learned as well, but, you know, I'm going to try and keep this straight if I can. That over there, Sonia. So this will be the front panel. Now, I didn't put any wadding in that bit, and I don't have to. Any of the any of this didn't put any of that in I don't have to unless you want to use it for put something stick something into it the reason I did the top was just for the look <laughs> you know just to make it softer looking instead of yeah so but anyway so we just go along here and like I said all, as close as you can get is good because hopefully it won't make a liar out of me and this is going to work when I get to go and do what i got to do next to it Okay, unless I've done it too close, but anyway, I hope not. I hope it'll be alright. I hope everybody's having a good day. It's going to be a bit warmer here in, in Australia than what it was yesterday, as far as I know. Jeremy is <laughs> not happy with the warmth. I do, I like it. I'm, I remember getting out of bed of the morning, it was nice and warm, you know, and now you get out here free. <laughs> got to get your socks on and everything now I might just take a tiny bit off this I hope I'm still in the shot of this because I brought that camera down a fair way haven't I I hope you can see what I'm doing oh dear well we'll have to do a couple more small bits anyway before we get any further so you'll see something hopefully right now you want to take that out Tweezers is going to come in handy for this, I think. Come on here, come on. Don't tell me I've stitched around the corner a bit so it won't come through. This is my way <laughs> of making it fit. And I went too far, didn't I? Put it in too far. I got it out. Okay, so now we're going to turn this through the right way. And it's, it is a little bit hard, you know, because it's only a small turn through that you're doing, but it's okay. I suppose you could have just turned it over and glued it down, but this is the idea that I'm doing because, I don't know, because of the thing that I'm making, I suppose. And it's only for me, so, well, but I'm still going to do it good. <laughs> if it's only for me, I'll still be doing it good. I have to work out me um, set out for the inside, me set up for the inside, what I'm going to put where. But I collected up these things that I really like together that will go. And then I'm going to put a little bit of embroidery on different pieces, but not a, not a lot, you know, just a few bits of stitching and that. Isn't, I'm not going to do a lot because I've got a heap to do on the outside yet. I have. Now this is a very, very loosely woven linen that I've got here. Really nice, beautiful piece. It is. Absolutely beautiful. And I don't have a... Maybe I do have a bigger piece of this. I think I could do. I might have got, might have got a great big piece of this because I, I did buy some pink. And could be over there. Can't remember now, but I think it was a good bargain anyway. Because it's just a good colour. It's very pale sort of really really pale greeny colour I suppose it is righto now you want your um, got that through there but I think I made this a little bit tight that bit I don't know I hope not mm, looks to me to be like you might have done Sonia look at that and of course when you go to put this in too you'll find that that's um, it's going to be tight I'm going to bend it a bit so I'm going to get it in there you know there's not going to be it's not going to get the better of me. I can go in there. Come on. And then you just straighten it out once it gets there, can't you? See? It'll work. Nobody panic. Look at that. Got in there really good. Didn't have to bend all of it. 
I <laughs> can't get hold of it either. <laughs> Maybe I can push it through then. And uh, they're sliding along there. Come on. I think I've got to push it. I'm going to pull it through. I decided to push me, pull me one. Let's see which one it gets. That was a little. Whoops, I went too far now. I can put it out of there. So it still is able to. It still is able to move in there. And these look a bit like they're not quite the right same size, don't they? But you know what? It's okay. I'll be sure it <laughs> look good when we're finished. Okay, we'll sort it out. <clears throat> we'll make it nice. Now this can go on the bottom part like this. Now I don't know if I have to actually sew this piece on, which I probably should do, because the box will be complete. When I say sew it on, I meant put this on here because. If I put that on there, I put that to that side, and this to this side. I'm going to put the lid on there, which is not going to fit now because of my. Oh, hang on, now that's going to go up there. It's got, this has got to sit on the top. Because if it doesn't, this is not going to work. It goes like that, okay? Righto. But do I need to have this fully covered or leave it flat? For when I sit it onto the thing, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. I could just glue that on there. I like getting lazy. No, I don't think so. I think I'll do that. I think I'll glue it onto this bit. But I'm going to face that bit down, so that's going to be touching the bottom of the um, thingy, the bottom of the adhesive. I hope this works. If you've seen it, you'll know it did. <laughs> yeah, I really want it to. I really do need it to work. Now, I want to figure out what to do with these ends. Well, I'll just put them over like that. Because, see, you've got this then that you can stitch to the piece or glue, whatever whatever you fancy doing. So I'm going to cut a bit of this off here. So it won't be too thick, it doesn't really matter I don't think. So you had to actually make the box which you were covering, see, because I think, you know, you could buy a box and cover it I guess, but it was actually a covered box, so you had to be able to cover the, cover the box. <laughs> And sometimes it proved really tricky. I can, I can tell you now. It just depends whether I started out right or not. Sometimes I used to make the top bit that's got the embroidery on it and then try to make the box to suit, which was a tiny bit hard. Because I wouldn't think about it, you know? Oh, well, after a few years, I suppose I got the idea that I should probably, you know, look at that doing it in a different way. <laughs> but anyhow. I like this glue. Gee, it's good. Oh, hang on. Let's go turn that in further. Not too sitting out there too far. I didn't want it too thick either. So this would be nice with a bit of satin fabric. But then you're going to satin fabric and velvet is not good with glue. You can do it all with. Um, there's a good length. Yeah, you could do it all with thread, but by stitching it, but. Um, it's not good with glue. So now I've got to sit these down. Make sure you, your um, seam is along the edge and not up the side. And I'm going to put a pin in this so I want to keep sliding down to the other side. I'm going to put, turn this under. And yes, I do things that are tiny and, and sometimes you think <laughs> you're attempting that. But you've got to have a go. You've got to have a go. Made a lot smaller things than this. I made some really beautiful lounge chairs and kids' dolls one time. Gee, they were good. I wish I could make myself one. <laughs> too much work and too much money. That would be, make your own. I'm sorry, this has got my name on it. Ink. Alcohol ink, because I was dying something with it. 
Now, your, your ends will be a little bit bulky. But like I said, I'm going to try and do some stitching on mine. Whether that makes a difference or not, I don't know, but it, it doesn't really matter. If you look, if you do it nice and tidy, it'll be, it's just what it means. You know, you need to do it nice and tidy. But anyway, this is not hard. It's tricky. Like, not tricky. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Not hard. And when you, the pieces, if they go together good, that's okay. <laughs> it's, that'll be even a plus one if they go together better. I can feel it's probably sliding down the other way a bit too as I'm stitching. So I'm doing these tiny little overcast stitches. Tiny little overcast stitches. Well, only another week and I'll be seeing that little old baby Margot. She's coming to visit me. Little old granddaughter. I'm excited. I must talk to her mother today. I haven't spoke to her for a few weeks and she must be busy with children. Or one child, anyway. She's busy, you know, doing other things. Now, is that going to be the good length? It will work. It could be a little bit wonky. <laughs> Try not to be. Try, now, I'm taking them both into... Both in this side. When you turn it under, right? I'm turning it down so they're both... Because it's too hard to take one one side one back the other. And I hope I don't unpull my stitching there. I'll push that down in there. So they're both on one side. I think this will look really cool. I do think it's going to look really cool. Hopefully it will. But I don't know. If I unfasten this off here, I'll be able to stitch up there, won't I? Let's do another stitch. Just, did we do a back stitch? I can't remember now, so we're going to do one. Cut that off tiny to the end. Do this end. Now, when you're doing this, you've got to think about... Go... Think ahead. Right. You want to need something to fasten it down. Now you can either use a, a magnet, I suppose, or some Velcro. I'm thinking a ribbon. I think I'd like to tie a little ribbon around it. I don't know yet. But if I'm going to, it's got to come under the bottom of this first. It's got to go under there and all around the whole lot, you know. Does that make any sense? I hope it does. Green's making some things in boxes, in little tin boxes. Now I've got some here somewhere that are about that size. Now for the life of me, I can't remember where they are. I've got smaller ones that I wouldn't even attempt to do anything in because they're too tiny. I've made a journal in one of them. It's actually sitting very in front of me. But I can, I'm sure I can go on Timu and get one. I wanted to do one in a tin, but I, I don't think so. I'd, I'd rather do this, I think. Everybody has to have their own thing. I'm just going to show you this journal in here because a lot of you might not have seen it. My goodness me, it does not want to come in. Oh, it's in front of it. Put this stuff back. Oh, no. There's a journal in here. Look, look at that. I did this a really long time ago. No, it's snazzy. It's even got, it's even been a bit decorated up a bit. Oh no, it's just got bits in it. Gee, it's that long since I've seen it, I wouldn't know, see? Anyway, so that fits in there really good. <laughs> wouldn't be putting anything else in that, I don't think. But if I got, I got a big, bit bigger one. I reckon you could make a hussy, the whole thing, in the tin, couldn't you? That's what I was thinking about, anyway. Green, you can do that. <laughs> Make it in the tin, Dal. <laughs> Put it in the tin. <sighs> the whole thing, you know, roll out of the tin, get back in the tin. I don't know what she's doing. I've I seen a bit of it this morning, what she was doing, but I didn't, sorry, I didn't have time to watch it all. She was making a pin cushion in it, I think, <clears throat> one of them. You would do a tiny hussy thing and put it in the tin so it folds down and goes into the tin. That should be fun. <laughs> Trying to get it, it would fit. You could do it. And people make tiny ones for doll houses and things like that, so uh, these sort of things, so you can make it. 
real easy. Actually, I've got a really interesting little box here I could probably use to do that. But you do need the tin. The only tin I can see is the round one, and it wouldn't be, that would be really hard to do. Anyway, it's got me magnets in it, so I don't want that. So I've done that one. Oh dear, I've got some time. I'll keep going. I want to get a bit done on its shows. Uh, so I've got a top and a bottom and nearly two sides. And there's two ends. Here's the, the two ends. Look at the ends. And put this in here. Probably should have did. I was going to do more, but I thought you're going to have to show you how to do it. And I didn't want to make two. You know me. I just don't... <laughs> I'll make another one if I like it. If I'm if I'm thinking I want to do something with it, I'll make another one. Yeah, I might get myself a tin and do one. I don't know. See if I can. I reckon that'd be cool. I've collected a few needle kits, like small needle kits. Not, they're not just nothing. You know, they're only. I would have been cheap. I don't know. One's got one's a leather one in a leather kit. Case and there's a few ones that I've collected up in the second hand places, but I've never actually made any myself. I've got a um, what's the name box here, too? I'm thinking about, too. There's a um, oh, is that cigar box got a hinge on it? Gee, that'd be flash, wouldn't it? Putting that on there, making money in that. This one, this one here might be a little bit wider than that one, but I'm not going to panic because I'm going to have to I'll fix it somehow. I'll do something with it and fix it so it won't look wrong, I hope. Because this one seems to be a little bit looser too. I've got a piece of green tape <coughs> here that's going to go on something that's full tape, but I'm not, it's, and I think it's fairly old. I don't know. And I'm going to put it not in there, but I'm going to put it on something. Right, got plenty of that there. Okay, so on the other end of this. <coughs> Make sure you leave, you leave yourself enough at the ends of these to tuck in there, okay? You need to have enough to tuck in. Not. And make sure this is close to the board bit, <laughs> the piece of um, whatever you're using to make it out of. I don't know if I've made a mistake with this or not. I'm not thinking about. I'm thinking about putting this on the top of the bottom bit, and we'll just see how how that works. I'll show you in a minute. I just want to do the side bits, and then we can put it together. Well, hopefully you can. If you see it, you'll know I did it. If you don't, <laughs> well, you won't even know about that bit anyway, will you? No, that's not it. We've got this bit on here, this bit on here. It's going to be to go there. So you got that okay. So we're going to do little slip stitches to cover that. Now we need these end bits <coughs> to be the same size as the bottom uh, because we're going to put this onto here. Now whether I should start that now or not, I don't know. 
So I should do that first. And that could go there. And this could go there. And these two pieces will go at the end. Yeah, they'll fit. That's high enough. And that's long enough. You've got to think about you've got to have it to go to the ends. Okay. So we're going to leave them like this, this size. So I've got um, the width of this rule is only a centimetre and a half. This thing is um, three inches or <laughs> 75 millimetres, and they're not millimetres at all because they're little. They're too little, you can hardly work with those. Hang on now, make sure I've got the right ends of this because I don't think I have the two right pieces. That's them. There. And they're a little bit bigger, but because when you put this on here, Look, I'm going to say that on there just to see if this is working for me. Let's go over that, eh? Let's have a go at that. So we've got the base bit. And I want to put... Because one of these is a little bit wider than the other, I'm thinking about putting it on the back. So the top's going to have to be hinged to it in a way, which I've got to figure that out. And I'm going to put this on here. Like that. By stitching it the same way as what I did to so you're going to see that bit so I'm going to stitch in here if that makes any sense hopefully I can turn it up or am I just grab grasping at straws here can I turn that up or do I have to stitch it like that maybe I should stitch it like that okay so we're going to hold this together hopefully that that's dry that um, glue and yeah, my knots on the bottom it's only small so I should be able to control it <laughs> well, I should have put a piece of paper over that word pen it on there it doesn't really matter you're not going to be able to see it okay only you and me know it's there don't tell anybody I'll keep that tight Sonia Righto, that's good. That's going to sit really nice on there, isn't it? I hope the rest of it will go together okay. Before I do that, put the top on, I should probably put some embroidery on that. I'll just show you a little bit of that in a minute. Hopefully we've got enough time. This is just very... Um, I'm just able to pick up that because I haven't actually put glue in that bit, so it's just it's good. A couple. I was thinking going to say you can put a couple of buttons on there, but I think I want to do a button thing on the buttons with something else. Okay, I'm going to do buttons with something else. And I'm still here, Navy Paddock. I've just gone into a stitching. Yeah. Because this colour is so close and it's good, you can sort of it's kind of sort of hiding. It's partially sitting on top of just the seam, and that's okay. That looks all right, doesn't it? Oh, your time's nearly caught up to me here. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to keep going, and so you'll see the next episode on the next on the next video. I hope.
Isn't that, isn't that jazzy? So that's going to go on there. Because this bit's going to But I'm, I want to do this piece now so I can go around the corner on it in a minute. I'll just end that off. Okay, now we need some bits for this. Which of the two bits? Why do I keep on swapping all these? Are they this is three the same now? Alright, let's go with the two smallest ones, please. It'll do. I've cut out a few pieces, haven't I? It's got a black mark on them. I'll use these two. Actually, I want to go up this end here because I don't want to. Sorry about this. I'm doing everything khaki way, but <laughs> the khaki way. Should be plenty for both of them. Heaps. Do that. Please have lots. Don't don't do it so it's I've got the fan on me now, I'm getting really cold. I can't reach it to turn it off either now, that's not good. Never mind. I've, over, I've, you know, I've come over there a bit too far, I think. Let go. Here. Pin. Oh, I can't even get that with the rule. It's got a, it's got the sticky tape sitting here in front of it. Don't know where hubby is. He must be outside somewhere. Anyway, maybe not. I'll just go on with this. I'll be right. It's cold though. We're going to stitch down along here, even if I just do one of these, I can get a bit more done on it. So what I'm doing wrong is when I, when I start off, I'm, I'm bringing it in a bit on the end there, and I shouldn't be. I should not. To, I should try to keep it away a bit so it's not too too tight on the ends. Do little stitches. You don't have to do this like this if you want to just estimate what you think. But because I get a little bit frustrated trying to estimate things and they don't work for me, I, I do what I think I can do <laughs> if it makes any sense. If it works, you know, you just keep on doing it. If it works, don't you? I've got this. This is all wrapped around here now and stuck. That's not handy. I'll just cut this piece of thread off a bit so it's not too long. Getting caught. I know. Okay, now push it out. Uh -huh. Turn it through. Move this bit of cotton first. A different pair of tweezers here now. Whatever works though for you works, isn't it? it? Doesn't matter. As long as you don't, if you're doing this with tweezers or anything, be careful you don't pull your threads in your work in your piece in your piece of fabric. Just be careful. Just do it careful, okay? Righto. Now see, because this is flexible. Whoops! <laughs> I don't want it to be too 
If I need to, I can give it a little bit of a bend, but if I don't, it doesn't matter. We'll see. The, hopefully I've done this one a bit better than I did the last thing, and it's working all right for me. It's going in. It's going in there. Okay, and have any panic. Now, when I'm sewing along the side there, well, like I'm, I'm not going... I'm just doing what the needle will allow. I don't push it in any too tight to make sure it gets down into the next stitch. I'm not pushing it too tight. Turn this through here. Make sure I've got enough up that end. I'll put a pin in that stop it slipping down. I'm going to have to go now. I'm so sorry. I really would like for this to go a bit longer, but I don't want to risk it being turned into... Well, it will be turned into two videos, but I'd rather be... So I'm going to come back. I'll set the time of this time because I don't know if I've... I've got a lot of fabric in that there. I do not want to cut it out, though. I'll be back, OK? I'll see you in the next episode. I hope you're enjoying this. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.